What's up, fish gang? Welcome back to Monster Fish Only, aka Mofo Fish, where we talk about monster fish and monster tanks. I'm your host, OGP, and today we're talking about the red tail catfish. It's not your granny's catfish, it's the big boy. You want the big boy. Whoa. What? Yo, DJ, man, bring the intro. Fish gang, fish gang, you know we come alive from the fish tank. Don't be getting mad cause your fish lame. Yeah, every time you hit, I do a water change. Fish gang, fish gang, you know we come alive from the fish tank. Don't be getting mad cause your fish lame. Yeah, every time you hit, I do a water change. Water change, 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 water change. Wanna change, wanna change, wanna change, wanna change, wanna change, I really got a jack in a red tail. Fish game smooth like Denzel. Your boyfriend stop like Number one, origin and tank setup. You wanna know where this fish came from? Why don't you send in some blood to Ancestry.com and see what happens? I dare you! Alright, fish fools. So the red tail catfish hails from the Amazon and various bodies of water around South America. It was first described by scientists in 1801. They are bottom to mid-range dwellers and will typically be more active at night or during feeding. A great tank setup will be a soft sandy bottom with a few large rocks scattered around. As juveniles, provide them with clay pots to hide in because they are quite shy until they reach 8 to 10 inches. Heavy filtration is a must because these fish are quite sensitive to high nitrates and will simply refuse to eat if the water isn't corrected. Make sure you have a well-established tank and plenty of room for them to swim because they do get quite active at night and during feeding. Being from the Amazon, they require warm water. Keep in mind, the warmer the water, the faster the fish will grow. This is because they will be much more active, therefore requiring more food, thus getting much, much larger much faster. I've had mine for north of 20 months and he's around 16 inches. I keep my tank around 70 degrees. Number two. Size. Size matters. Yes, size matters. Size matters. Number two, size. So the world record for this fish is five feet long, weighing in at a whopping 123 pounds. There is no doubt that it is an absolute behemoth for a home aquarium standards. But we have to take this with a grain of salt. This is obviously the anomaly. Many factors including diet, water volume, temperature, age, genetics, and many other factors go into a fish's size. On average, you should expect the red tail to reach about three feet. This is why I say you can get away with a 350 gallon with the right dimensions. A 350? A 350? This guy's full of my natural gas. Now I worked at SeaWorld for 17 years. The female ain't Shamu. You can't keep this fish in a 350. Now, I might have been a little hyped up on Robitussin and antihistamines, but I know what I saw. You can't keep this fish in a 350. You can't do it. Number three, diet. Uh, and for you, sir. Um, let's see. I think I'll have whatever fits in my mouth. Number three, diet. So, I highly recommend getting this fish as a juvenile. You want to introduce it to pellets as soon as possible. Massive ore sinking pellets work the best. My red tail catfish eats Wardley's sinking pellets and algae wafers with no hesitation. I also mix in large chunks of cooked shrimp, tilapia, cod, and occasionally salmon for a treat. Be careful feeding fish, you know, these types of chunks because they will quickly become accustomed to it and begin refusing pellets and it's a pain to wean them back on. Number four, tank mates. Um, maybe Jeffrey Dahmer? Number four, tank mates. So, in all actuality, the Jeffrey Dahmer comparison seems a bit gruesome, but it's very accurate. The reason being is this fish is very docile in nature, but it will totally eat all of its people. Pakus, alligator gars, channel cats, giant garamis, and most large American cichlids will do fine. 
but keep in mind these fish can and will eat whatever fits into its mouth so if it gets hungry enough eventually it's on the menu you can do feeder fish and live shrimp but like always i say homegrown is always better you do not want to lose your fish to a 28 cent feeder fish uh, so you can do it at your own risk that's going to be on you number five general care do you care in general yes you do i know you care because you're watching fish videos on the internet duh number five general care in general the larger the tank the better plenty of room to swim and large tank mates and the fish will do fine these fish are carnivores but do not feed them any land mammals it's hard for them to digest and it's just not natural feed them one big meal once a week and they will do fine if not then feed them a handful of carnivore pellets daily uh, their whiskers are extremely sensitive therefore they have incredible senses of smell it's fun to dip a piece of food at the other end of the tank and within seconds the fish will be swimming around frantically trying to locate it. If it wasn't for their massive size, I would rate this as a must have for every hobbyist because the fish is so fun to keep. If you have the time, money, and space to dedicate to this beautiful creature, then I highly recommend keeping this beast. Um, so guys, that's where we're at with it. Thanks for watching and I'm out of the tank. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do it now, because you want the big boy. Hey you, yeah, fish pool. If you subscribe to the channel already, then welcome to the fish game. But if you haven't, shame on you. Keep in mind, every time you subscribe to a channel, particularly maybe this one, your fish live a little bit longer. It's science. It's real science. But, in all seriousness, you get a chance to win some free stuff. So hit the subscribe button, enter for your chance to win. Um, all you have to do is just subscribe. Um, it's gonna be a Sun Sun canister filter, uh, the 304B, rated for like 525 gallons per hour. Um, I will give you guys something that I don't personally use or I haven't personally tested. So I do have it on three of my tanks. I've got it on this uh, 75 here, and I've got it on two 125s. So um, we will be giving it to one of our lucky viewers for absolutely free. All you have to do is just hit the subscribe button, comment you love mofo fish, and hit that like button. We're out the tank.